In this video, we've got another intermediate modern drive move. Now, if you're following along, just check out the safety disclaimers. That can be found in the video description below. Also, if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest free videos, just hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, this move is called the Catapult Flamenco, and it looks like this. Now this intermediate move comes off with a beginner's catapult. If you don't know a beginner's catapult and you'd like to learn one, I'll leave a link in the description below. So it starts right to right, nice and close, hands down at waist level. We're just going to lead our partner away. For the normal catapult, we're going to pull down and raise our right hand and take a second step forward, offering that spare hand. Again, like the catapult, we're just going to lead our partners into our side. So up to this point, it is the same as the catapult. This is where it all changes, because what we're going to do is we're going to take our left hand and we're going, instead of spinning our partner in front, we're just going to unwind like a corkscrew effect in front of ourselves with our left hand. So as I lead Lucy forward with my left hand, I'm just going to raise my left as I turn her. And as she turns, as she comes out of that second unwind, I step straight into her side with my right arm out, so Lucy's right arm goes across my front. From here, we just walk around for two beats. We go around one and two. Now, as we walk around, we can just let go of our hand that's over our head and just slowly bring them down to our side. To exit the move, you can use your right hand to spin on your partner's hip so we can send our partner out into a spin. And then when we come out of the spin, we catch left to right. Finish the move by stepping in, returning our partners anti-clockwise, stepping back at the end. Just a little tip for the followers when you get spun out. It's really easy to get caught up. And what I mean is if you drop the hand down and you drop it down to your side, as your partner goes to spin on your hip, you kind of get locked in the arms. So. When my partner goes for uh, a spin out, what I tend to do is just drop the hands down, you slightly bring them up the back, and then it means that both of you are not getting tangled up at the end of the move. So as we speed this move up, it looks like this. We step back, pull down and raise, offer the hand into the side, unwind, collect, round once, twice, into the spin and catch, step into return and back. 